Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Back to England then. Um, what was it like when you got that very first call up? You know what? It was exciting, but nerve wracking. You know, like playing at Villa, we were fighting for like Europe. We were fighting for like top four, to, um, top six. But you're playing against players that you've like you've been in your early teens watching, mm. like legends of the game. And you're like, oh, like Wayne Rooney. Yeah. You know, so he's the same age as me. He made his debut at 16, didn't he? So I'm in a youth team thinking, watching Wayne Rooney. And then getting the call up and I'm like, the car picks you up and you're like, Okay, nowhere to hide now. You're going into the Lions Den. You're going to the Grove Hotel, Watford. Yeah. You're you're going into them the hotel. FBI looking agents everywhere. You know what it was like? Yeah, you like you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't walk without them looking at you. Like where are you going? So um, then I remember going into the canteen on the first morning, walking in with my my trainers and my socks on, and let's have some breakfast. Capello's gone. I'm on the hall. Where are you going? I've gone. Whoa, he's gone. Um, no flip flops. Up. Oh, he was. Up. He's massive. Get he up. was massive up. on it. I felt like I was back at like um, my dad's house and I was like a 12-year-old. He was like, up, flip-flops. No, up, up. So like, so like, sorry, so I come down in flip-flops, not yeah, like, come down yeah, yeah, in yeah, socks yeah, yeah. and trains. Come down in flip-flops because obviously as a footballer, you played on a Saturday, you want to rest your feet. Do you know what I mean? It's normal, like less some air into your yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. You want to have blisters or whatever. He's gone um, up, trainers, trainers and socks, up now. Players are laughing their heads off because they must have known. <laughs> they give me a heads up, right? Walk up, get changed, come back down. Socks pulled up as far as they could go. Uh, Umbro socks, wherever he was sponsored by. And then um, walked in, he's gone. Good, enjoy breakfast. And I'm like, what the hell have I come into, man? This isn't what I signed up for. I feel like I'm like in some area, some school in Italy. Did you like but, a bit of ketchup on your breakfast? Oh, that was don't the get next me started thing. on that. Like, and breakfast was like, normally like at football, you'd have like, everyone would come and have them. Some sort of eggs on toast with butter. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, okay, can I have scrambled eggs on toast? And um, no butter. What do, can't I, what, what do you mean? So you're going to have toast with eggs with no butter? Yeah, it doesn't dry, work. Dry. Dry. No you, ketchup. You've been choking. No brown sauce. But And then even dinner, it was like, you'd have like chicken and this and that. And you'd be like, oh, excuse me, can I have some ketchup? No polite to the um, people working there. No, no ketchup. Yeah, it was, I'm like, it was like you're not even I'm allowed like, to don't mention even speak it. it. Like, obviously, because I think maybe Italians, they see it as an insult. I've been to Italy and they're like, ketchup, no. You're oh, yeah, yeah. Food. yeah, yeah. No, 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 you don't need English. Were you allowed that. olive oil? I think we're allowed yeah, things like oil, that. Yeah. yeah, you're allowed olive oil. Yeah. So anyway, because we've been away for 10 days, I remember one of the trips, went up to the room, right? I've got this call from, um, I can't remember who was in the group. And like, they said, um, come to this um, room. Went up to the room. I've never seen so much McDonald's, mate. <laughs> I've never seen. There was everyone. Everyone you could imagine was in there. It was Cole, Rio, JC, all of them ruining everyone. And everyone's there, mate. Like little kids on the bed, munching on McDonald's. Hiding away. Hiding away. In One of the FBI agents must have been in on it. In on, in on getting the McDonald's for the lads. Because they're English, we're English, aren't we? And in that era, it was like, oh, seven, eight days of playing pasta. Do you know what I mean? It was a bit like, oh, I can't do this. So, like, I remember, like, just sitting there, just enjoying my hamburger and chips and a nice fancer. And they come down for dinner, like, yep, have a little bit of, uh, Pretend, a little yeah. bit of like, plain chicken. It, 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 <laughs> plain it, it, pasta. It, it was so intense, though, honestly. Oh. That's how Capella was, wasn't it? He was so intense that it was. You were like, you're talking about, like, 26, 27-year-old, fully grown adult men, right? And we were <laughs> hiding in rooms doing stuff like that. But you needed it. It was like yes. a little release. You needed do a it. cheat day, didn't you? Yeah, you'd, you do, it once. you'd do it days. once. It would only happen once, but it would be, you need do, this. Do you think right. With Capello... Did the FA get it wrong and have they got it wrong with managers over the years? Have they not done their due diligence and not understood that culturally Capello was going to come with these rules and upset the apple cart? I think it's hard, isn't it? Because he was so successful in his career, um, Capello. And, you know, even when I watched the documentary, I think it might have been the Beckham documentary, mm. you saw how strict he was yeah. with the Galacticos. Do you know what I mean? He had Ronaldo, um, Brazilian Ronaldo running upstairs, didn't he? Doing doggies upstairs. Yeah. You know, he was so like strict. Maybe they thought that's what they England needed. It so needed it. That's it's hard to say he got yeah. it wrong because he did give me my England caps. So it'd be hard to to say anything um, else apart from the ketchup and the butter. But maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. But you know, we still not won anything now, have we? So. No. We definitely got say? a bit further now. I'd say that, but I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it, at that moment in time, it was probably they were just 
trying to go a different route, do something different. Mm. We've had English managers, we've had Sven before that. Yeah. Um, let's go for a, an Italian route, get real like hard on, on the players and stuff, try and get them organised. But it was just it was just too much. Uh, just quickly, sorry, I've got a, a follow-on story from your uh, flip-flop story. So yeah. uh, Ross Barkley was in and around the team that time as well. And um, whenever you got one of the new players that was kind of like their first call-up into the team and stuff like that, you'd always see them, like they'd walk through the door and they'd be so <laughs> nervous, right? Yeah, you will. So, so nervous. <laughs> but it was kind of like nice at the same time and Ross Barkley did the same thing came down in his flip flops oh. right so say say dinner was like 7.30 or something for example right players would normally start coming down at about sort of 25 past 20 past something like that right Ross Barkley came down at 26 minutes past say for example and everybody it was a massive thing with Capello wasn't it timings being on time making sure you're not late right oh. and he came down at 26 minutes past and all of the lads see him in his flip-flops. So oh. Everyone's sort of half buzzing, but half scared, mm. half excited at the same time. Because as soon as he walks down, somebody goes, Ross, mate, flip-flops, no. And he's like, what do you mean, flip-flops, no? Like, no, trainers, go and put some trainers yeah, and socks yeah. on now. So now he's got to go back up the fire escape, two floors, sprinting, yeah? Yes. And he's got three and a <laughs> half... <laughs> he's, got, he's got three and a half minutes, right? Sprint, sprint, straight down. And we're normally in for a meeting or it's all in yes. for dinner, yeah? But either way, right, you have to be there, good to go. And he will be stood there at the door, yes. at the dinner door or the meeting room at 7.30, like that. Like that. And he that's, just comes... That's how scary oh. it is, though, is like, oh. that was always something in my career that, like, meeting at 7.30 or dinner, I'm there at 20 past. Yeah. Always, because there's nothing else going on in your room. Yeah. So that's why, they, like, even the Marcus Rashford being late, like, this season or whatever, like, they, it's unacceptable you because there's be nothing late. else going on. No. You're not out doing, like, the shopping, the, the food shops, so you're <laughs> the late. Kids, yeah. You're in your room <laughs> watching, yeah. It's you're true. in your room watching Netflix. So I always come down early, always the first one down in a meeting, ready... Because you know, because twenty six is quite late. Yeah, twenty six is late, mate. It's where? quite late for seven thirty. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy saying it because you want to get in there and you're like, if you come to a meeting at twenty nine minutes past, like the gaffer's looking at you like you're late and you're not. Yeah, you should be five minutes. But yeah, even five, five minutes, minutes early yeah. is probably late. Why yes. does, genuinely? Why does no one tell the people? So when you go with England, <laughs> should be the captain or someone it's funny from the, though. Someone <laughs> from the FA. But it's fun <laughs> to see someone else crumble. I like, see why they were buzzing of me getting done. It's like, yep. Yeah, <laughs> That'll teach them the, the, teach the meeting ones are the worst one because, like, say, if, what managers like to make a point of doing is is at seven thirty he'll let everybody in or everybody's already made their way into the room, but he will be stood at the door and as soon as it ticks to seven thirty, close. So you're out. everybody will be in there, and oh, yeah, if you are yeah, yeah, late, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. will have to knock on the door. You'll have to let yourself in, and then he will make a point of going. Yes. Any exceptions? If what if Wayne Rooney or Oh mate, even then he would have to say I'm sorry. He yes. would have to go in yeah, front yeah. of everybody and say, I'm sorry, I'm late, lads, I'm really sorry, and look to the manager and say, I'm really sorry, I'm late. And he would make him stay think, behind and I tell think, him afterwards. Yeah, as I well. think a lot of the managers are always in a bad mood anyway. Oh, they are, yeah. Or they they're are. put on being in a bad mood. You know, let's be that sort of like manager. So like you were shit scared to be honest. <laughs> you to were. Be late. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> scared. Oh god, it's good, isn't it? Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.